As the nation's oldest city, it only makes sense that St. Augustine would also have some of the country's oldest ghost stories. How can you explain this? Yeah, you can't. It's unexplainable. Okay. One of the most haunted spots is said to be the historic lighthouse. My heart, guys. I just felt down my back like that. Seven, eight, nine, ten. What? What? There's Lighthouse Avenue. Can you see it in there? No. Oh, it's back there. So my, my nerves, my nerves are gone and I'm more excited, but they're somewhat still there. There it is. We still have time to There back. it is. Wait, <laughs> is that the house? Oh my gosh. Yeah. What's up guys? Welcome back to, wait, no, not welcome back to the show. This is our first video. <laughs> welcome to the brand new haunted destinations and ghost hunting video. This is crazy. We're here. We are at the St. Augustine Lighthouse. We're doing it big right away. We are. Why do you keep doing that? St. Augustine. <laughs> we are at the St. Augustine Lighthouse and Caretaker House right behind me. One of the most haunted places in the United States. It is rumored that 14 spirits roam the grounds here. What are you doing to me? <laughs> Why am I here? And it's just the two of us tonight. Yeah. We hope to bring along some friends and stuff in the future, but for tonight, let's do this. I'm excited. I'm ready to see what we capture. I'm excited. Yeah. I'm really excited. I'm excited. Once we pulled up, I got more excited than nervous, so. Sweet. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. You're welcome. Oh, I have gosh. That face. I did yeah, not yeah. like that face right in I have had, I have had <laughs> dozens <laughs> of dozens of experiences here really? at the lighthouse. I have been locked in the lighthouse. Um, so that door is gonna stay uh, propped open tonight so that okay. you don't get locked in. Okay. Uh, I mean, we have... If we lock him in, I mean, he's my brother, so you know, we can lock him in. He sometimes annoys me. <laughs> we had a period of about a month where every night we had a tour, someone was getting locked in the lighthouse. Wow. Um, like huh. deadbolt thrown, that's never fun. I have seen figures pacing down the hallway in the main level of the t lighthouse. Okay. I have heard voices following me up the lighthouse stairs. This is our first paranormal investigation too, so well, we we're got happy all the equipment. And we're happy it's here. Please though, please do not climb the lighthouse blindfolded like Sam and Colby did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're crazy. For I that. know. We were talking about that. We were like, why did he give him that challenge? Like, that's actually scary. Like, he could definitely fall. Um, I have seen figures running up the lighthouse stairs. I have also felt a finger go up the back of my neck really? in the lighthouse. Um, when you're climbing, keep an eye on the landings because we do find footprints on the landings. Okay. Interesting. Um, usually they're wet, child size footprints usually look like barefoot. Oh, um, wow. you, as just like last week, we found footprints in there when people had not been in the tower for hours. Wow. Okay. That's a real person, right? That is a real person. Let me make sure that we're That is Ozzy. <laughs> Ozzy will be our other staff member on property today. Okay. <laughs> One of the known spirits to haunt the Keeper's House goes by the name of Major William Harn. He is rumored to haunt the parlor room inside. You can see his rocking chair move. You can also sometimes hear coughing. He was a really bad or a really heavy smoker. And he also died of tuberculosis. This side of the house is called the Harn side of the house, named after the first lighthouse keeper to live here. His name was Major William Harn. He served also in the Civil War as a major. He died of tuberculosis in this house. I thought that maybe he did. Okay. So he died upstairs um, above your heads in the bedroom. Mm. That would have been up there. Oh no. Um, so <laughs> there are nights where people will say that they hear coughing coming from this side of the house. They'll hear crying coming from this side of the house. Some people will complain of a tightness in their chest as if they're having trouble breathing over in this side of the house. Our more unofficial name for this side of the house on our Dark of the Moon tours is the Shadow Rooms. Because people will see shadow figures in this room. They'll say they see a figure pacing from wall to wall. Um, they'll see figures in the doorway. One night I was in here and I walked past this window and there was a shadow like on the wall in the window. And at first I thought it was just my shadow. Yeah. Then I went to recreate it. I walked the length of this room 10 times and could not get that shadow to appear again. This rocking chair behind you 
start rocking. Major Harn is very particular in how he likes to be known, okay. um, so refer to him as Major Harn. Mm -hmm. um, he served in pretty much every major battle of the Civil War, um, so right. he worked very hard for that title of Major, Yeah. so he would like to be known by it if you're yeah. in this room. Any footsteps? Do you hear footsteps yes, too? Yes, we, we hear footsteps. This hallway in particular okay. is where we have had oh, sorry. <laughs> footprints appear. Okay. Um, on our ghost tours, um, and those footprints, the sound that they heard was loud, heavy, almost boot steps. Mm -hmm. But when they went to find them, they were childlike, barefoot, wow. dirty footprints. Mm. Okay. So as if children were walking down the floor, stomping. Yeah. yeah. Um, and those footprints stayed for a couple of weeks and then disappeared. Wow. And our maintenance <laughs> men tried everything to make them like disappear and clean them up and nothing they tried worked. You feel, I feel like I hear stories like that sometimes of like handprints and they'll like wash them away, but they'll always reappear in the same position. I have found hand, I found a handprint. Oh, no. um, <laughs> Shouldn't no. have given the example. <laughs> yeah. um, and it was weird because it was a, definitely a child size hand. But it was in a building that we don't get like any activity usually. Oh, okay. um, but it was very much a childlike hand that looks like a child kind of just reached up above the handle. Um, oh. But I'll show you, I can show you that picture later. Okay. Yeah. So this side of the house, this room doesn't get a whole lot of activity, um, but it does have some places that will set off like any EMF vet meters, things like that. These are electrical closets. Okay. Um, so meters will set off by the two doors. Um, there are magnets on the tray right over there, so the magnets will set them off. Okay. And sometimes like the TVs and the tablets will set them off. Okay. Um, but this was kind of where one of my weirdest stories happened. I was walking up these stairs closing and looked out that window and I just saw a disembodied hand coming down the oh railing. My gosh, I just got no. chills when you said that too. That's crazy. Like as it as if it was walking down that railing. Mm -hmm. Oh gosh. So it really it looked like Full like a <laughs> thing from the Adams family. Like it oh, was like, wow. oh my gosh. No just way. a hand. Wow. And I asked the people who were out in the courtyard, like, did anybody come down those stairs? Yeah. And they said no, nobody did. This is the part of the basement where our girls most often hang out. Uh -huh. um, Mary, that's, does that happen? Yeah, I think that's just, okay. that one is just the light. Okay, I was gonna on. say, in case that happens again, should we watch for that? Okay. Um, <laughs> where I've had nights where some of the lights upstairs that have flickered, um, and I asked the lights, girls, are you messing with the lights? Can you stop? Lights stopped flickering what? for a couple of seconds, then started flickering. Okay. <laughs> um, so if it continuously flickers, mm -hmm. then it might be something, but... Okay. So the pity girls. So Mary, Eliza, and then we don't know the third little girl's name. She was just was kind of unfortunately lost to history. Um, those three young girls passed away during construction of the lighthouse. Um, Mary and Eliza, their father, Hezekiah, was a ped foreman for the lighthouse and they were on a rail cart with their little sister, Carrie, and they were riding down the track to the edge of the dock that they used to offload the materials, bring it up to the courtyard to build the lighthouse. And the cart didn't stop at the edge of the dock like it usually did. Oh yeah. So it went off, flipped, trapped the girls under the water. Oh, that's how it happened. It flipped. Oh, that's mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. sad. Yeah, that, that is. That is so incredibly sad. And only Carrie survived. Oh. Um, but even though that's such a heavy and negative and yeah. sad story, the girls are probably our most playful spirits. Okay. Yeah. They like to play little pranks on people, so definitely watch your shoelaces tonight. We, we brought a shoe tied, and we're gonna leave it down here and see. Um, yeah. They like to untie shoelaces, tie them together again. Um, okay. Also, if you're standing near a railing of like the lighthouse or that staircase, they have been known to untie shoes and tie them to the railings. What? If okay, we let's see put that. the shoe on the. Yeah. Yeah, we'll put mm -hmm. the shoe on there. That and we brought a doll too. I don't mm -hmm. know if they're gonna want they, that. They but, do. They like okay. that. Um, okay. They also like to play hide and seek. Okay. They've been known to sing. I've heard them singing out on the nature trails. Really? Mm. Um, and the night that I heard them, I just thought they were other kids on the tour. Yeah. Until I looked next to me and all of the children that were on the tour were standing there 
pointing out into the woods saying, do you hear the singing out there? Wow. Mm. Again, chills. That's the second time. Um, really? And then yeah. we have found that the girls, we don't know officially if it's the girls or not, but I really think it's the girls. They like tattoos. Hey. <laughs> so they have, we have a oh couple. Gosh, oh, they're not going to know who Mickey Mouse is. No. And I, don't I mean, you would be surprised. They know how to use cell phones. Like they can, they? they have, we've had people who have said that they've like, had like their phone flashlights turn on and really okay. Um, I have like really bad back pain right now. I'm really? not like it's like aching. Huh. Like it's like I have a big backpack on, but I I don't. Hmm. But we have had staff members who have had. She one of our staff members has a giant tattoo on her leg, and she every once in a while oh will feel gosh. it being traced, as if someone is kind of like going up and down it. Um, we've had people who have come with full like arm sleeve tattoos and they'll just say, and bright colors, they'll say they feel them being poked and Aww. prodded. I, that makes sense because children that I've been around, they, they are always so curious about them. Mm -hmm. They're like, oh, what's that? So that, especially if they're, because back then they wouldn't right. have been used to seeing tattoos, especially yeah. on yeah, they're women. Curious. Yeah, Yeah, they're very curious. Huh. Just over here is what we have lovingly dubbed Creepy Corner. Oh, nice. <laughs> because lights were off, you guys weren't standing there. You'd have no idea I was standing here. <sighs> um, Horror movie vibes. So, yeah. <laughs> so we have had whispers coming from this wow. corner. Okay. We have found footprints in this corner. Um, and we have also had people say they've seen little girls standing in this corner. Really? Okay. Just, hey, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm, I'm excited. We decided to do this. I mean, yeah. we chose to buy equipment and... Yeah. <laughs> yes, that is slightly terrifying. <laughs> it's better than um, what we had before, which was a giant mannequin oh. named Star Waters. Scuba thing? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh. Scuba Star. Uh, she was my a lot of our number one deal breakers for this job. If that thing ever moved, all of us were putting in like our notice. Not yeah, even two yeah, weeks, we like, were done. Yep. <laughs> in the basement, there's known to be a more aggressive spirit named Peter Rasmussen. But this is the side of the basement that we call Peter's room. Um, he's our longest serving lighthouse keeper, Peter Rasmussen, served from July 1st, 1901, July 1st, 1924. So 23 years to the day. And Peter was very well liked around the town of St. Augustine. Wasn't always a fan of tourists, though. We are from Orlando. Yeah. Technically, we're not tourists. <laughs> <laughs> um, but he has a tendency to give off different feelings to different people. With men, he tends to be a little more aggressive. <laughs> um, you may feel a heaviness on your chest. You may be poked. You may be pinched. You may be prodded. Burning sensation down the back of your neck as if someone's breathing down it. With women, he's a lot more friendly. Okay. You may feel someone stroking your hair. You may feel someone massaging your shoulders. Oh, look, I need it, so feel free. <laughs> Actually, let me, let me not say that. <laughs> but his favorite thing to do is take his hand and zigzag it up and down oh, your leg. Oh, gosh. Can I have leggings on? I feel like oh, I'll no. extra be sensitive to it because you can feel everything in leggings. Oh, no. Um, but he doesn't care wearing jeans, shorts, leggings, doesn't matter to him. Okay. He's a legs man. Oh. Um, usually <laughs> though, if you, What's up, Peter? <laughs> if you tell him to stop, he usually will. Okay. But I always recommend sitting in these chairs. Um, we call these Peter's chairs. We don't know why, but when people sit in them, they usually encounter Peter a little more often. Okay. Um, a staff member. Is there anybody in here? Ozzy, are you back in the house or are you still out in the courtyard area? I just got into the courtyard area. Copy that. Did anybody else hear that? I. It was like a thud. Like a... I did hear that. Oh, I heard that. <gasps> oh my god, that's... Yeah. You guys heard it that time, mm -hmm. right? It, that's what I heard the first time. Like twice? Yeah. Oh my gosh, what is that? No, no. Is there footsteps? Ozzy, are you on the porch? Yeah, it's awesome. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, thank goodness. Yeah, that's annoying. That way I'm scared y'all again. <laughs> Debunk. It didn't help. <laughs> Debunk. Oh my oh, gosh. Oh, thank goodness, because that was very Ooh, clear. That was so clear. I was like, that is I'm just going to go wait in the room. 
Uh, so the porch is about here, just yes. so we know. Okay, okay, so in case you're walking out there, yeah. I'm down here. Oh, he was blowing in the wind. It was funny. Don't do that to me. <laughs> oh my gosh, thank goodness. Because I was like, I swear that's what I... Okay. We that tour guide pushed out of one of these chairs. Whoa. Granted, he spent the entire night making fun of Peter oh, yeah. and antagonizing oh, him. Oh man, yeah. we're not going to make fun of anyone. Um, I've also had a gentleman sit in one of these chairs and he decided he wanted to tell Peter to that he was going to take the chairs home and let them fly and smash on the highway. Mm -hmm. Peter didn't like that statement. Chairs started to vibrate and shake. Oh, no way. As he, as he was sitting in it. Um, yeah, he jumped very high and very fast out of that That's chair. That's scary, yeah. Wow. Um, we're not going to take your chairs. We just want to chit chat. So <laughs> yeah, never <laughs> that is insulting Peter or yeah. making him mad in any way. Um, there's also a certain scent we associate with Peter. It's a cherry tobacco. Oh, okay. um, so so there are nights where we will come in here and we will get a whiff of that tobacco as we come into the basement. We've even smelt it lingering as we've climbed to the top of the lighthouse. Wow, okay. So One, Pete roams too. Yeah, roams Pete roams. Um, okay. I've encountered him out on the nature trails, okay. um, down here in the basement, um, in the lighthouse. We actually just, 4th of July, we had a couple of people hop the fence, get onto site, try to climb the lighthouse. And we were here for a yes. private ghost tour and the meters that we had in our hand after we like brought the group down started to go off crazy and we were asked, still asking questions. Determined it was Peter. Just making sure that we were getting everybody out of the tower. Oh, and he's that a nice we were guy. Safe. Yeah, yeah he just wants us to be yeah. safe. We're yeah. good. Yeah, yeah. We're, just, we're already <laughs> friends. We're not tourists. We're going to be nice. Yep. You don't have a hat on yet. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> Peter, it's just for an experiment, okay? <laughs> it's, just, it's just for an experiment. Um, so one of my favorite experiences with that cherry tobacco was I had a gentleman, after I told the stories about not antagonizing Peter, he decided to call Peter stupid. Oh, so we, why are people so mean? <laughs> so we were exiting the basement out this door right here. And he stopped right where you are. And I walked back to the other side of the doorway to just see what was up and now it was why he stopped. And as I got to the other side of the doorway, there was the cherry tobacco scent walking down that, like going down that hallway. Uh -huh. As if it was Peter walking down the hallway saying, hey, I've got my eye on you. Wow. wow. So I feel like if we're like in this room doing something, we can set up our music box pointing that way and see if anything's... Yeah. Okay, cool. We've got it. One time, I think it was the one that looked up this uh, stairwell and saw a head peeking out back down there. We've had that happen multiple times. Wow. Um, we have had ghost hunters capture a figure from one of the upper landings looking down at them, we call it our shadow figure. We've had people say that they have seen little white glowing figures. Um, so those are we attribute to the little girls. I have seen dark shadow figures running up the stairs. Like some kind of voice. You heard, you guys heard like it? A, like a bang or like a ah, like that. That's what I heard. This echoes a lot. <laughs> yeah, what do I have to do? Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this piece of equipment here called a cat ball. Really cheap equipment for ghost hunters who are just starting out, you know. We have other equipment too. And I'm gonna put it on the rocking chair that Major William Harn is said to sit in and sometimes the chair will rock back and forth. So I feel like if we put this in here and you're not allowed to sit in this chair, but I did get permission to go ahead and just simply place this cat ball in here. So I am just going to put it in on the rocking chair. There we go. Okay. Yep. So now I don't want to touch it to move it, but it should, if the cat ball goes off, that means that the chair could be like rocking or moving. It's yep. pretty rare for those to go off. So 
This is just... down here. We're coming down. We're not here to like hurt you or anything. We're just here to talk. Okay, so this is a paranormal music box and it's just gonna make a sound if something were to walk in front of it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to set it up down this hallway because we're gonna first chalk to the pity girls in this room. Um, but we're gonna set this up right here and now I'm gonna turn it on. It's gonna calibrate. And if something walks in front of it, it should make a sound. That's calibrating. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So let me demonstrate how it works. So if I were to just like that, that's all it does. So mm -hmm. it just detects motion. So, and then it makes a nice little sound <laughs> in yep. case something's walking this way. I also wanna mention that this stuff is brand new that we got, the equipment, yes, literally. completely brand new. This is our first time doing an investigation. Yeah, first time. First time, so please, I don't like that I can see out there. <laughs> They're in a room. Yeah, that's creepy. <laughs> Cover your eyes, guys. <laughs> yeah, so all of this is brand new. So let's see what we get. So this is a REM pod, and I'm gonna show you all how it works. It's probably gonna go crazy a little bit because I'm holding it. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Yep, okay, cool. So what this does, if something were to go near it, it just goes off like that. Pretty simple. So why is yep. it only going off on that one though? Maybe mm -hmm. So if something were to touch that, um, or even like grab it, it makes that sound. Uh, where should we put this actually? Stairs, top of stairs. What do you um, think? Well, we're down here right now. By their tea set. Yeah. Yeah. So we can simply say something like, if you are one of the pity girls, I want to introduce myself. My name is Shannon. You can just come up to this and just tap it and we will know that you are here and would like to hang out with us tonight. Okay. Did you, you didn't hear that? No. You didn't hear that? No. Are you serious? That was loud. What was it? Like a, oh, like a... Something's touching my leg. No, I swear. Something just touched my really? leg. Really? It could yeah. be the air conditioning though. The air conditioning just kicked on and your like hair on your leg could be moving. Maybe. Okay. Uh, we also brought you a toy. Ow. Nice. But also, you know what that could have been? Hmm. No. Music box. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. For letting us know you're here. If that was you, could you step in front of that again for me, please? All you have to do is just come up to it. Just confirm that was you. You okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm good. I just, wow, that was so Yeah, that's the first. Thank you. Thank you, Thank so, you so much. much. Thank you for coming up to that. It might, you know, Peter, if that's you, we appreciate you. Yeah, thank you for saying hi to us. Oh, he Aww. said he said you're welcome. He said... Oh, oh, he... thank oh, you. Dude. Okay. Wait. Wait. Let's so... confirm. Yeah. Is are we? Can you please? Can you make that stop for just a second, please, so we can ask you a question? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay, if we- You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, I think this is one of the little girls being playful yeah, with it. they love playing. Do you like this little toy we have for you? If so, you can just go touch it, yeah? <laughs> yeah? It's cool, isn't it? You can just- Oh my god, this is crazy. Oh, so <laughs> oh, cute. thank you. Thank you so much. I also brought you a little doll here that you can play with. I'm just gonna put her on the stairs, okay? We're gonna put her under the stairs where you love to play. We know you love to play there. Oh. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yep, I'll put it right there for you, um, okay? Can I ask one question? Um, are we talking to one of, one of the little girls? Or are we talking to Peter? Make it go off if this is Peter, please. Okay. Okay. What's up, Peter? What's and, up? Wait, let's try this too. If this is a little girl, could you make that go off? Okay, it's Peter. What's up, Peter? Oh, he likes us. I'm he does. So happy. I am too. I'm actually really Wait. happy because I I thought that he wouldn't like us. I feel like I should. Aww. Oh, he likes us. He likes. I was about to ask. Was, yeah. Put it off. Do it off if you yeah, like. Yeah, if you like us, Peter, and you think we're respectful and nice, and we just want to, you know, have a nice conversation with you, could you make that go? Yeah. Yes. 
Yeah. Thank you. Oh my gosh. That's all we want. We oh, want to make you guys so happy. Nice. Yeah, we want. We're here to get to know you, know your story, and make you happy. And I'm glad the music box makes you oh. happy. <laughs> I'm so glad. He is like, he's also. Awesome. You know why? Because we're being nice and we're being yeah. respectful and he wants to actually talk to yeah. us. Because a lot of people that we've yeah. heard from the stories well, are Yeah, rude. what she said, she said that, no. No, I swear, I got a tug on the back of my shirt. Really? Hey, Peter, could you make that music box go off if there are also the little girls down here with us? Yeah. Yay, we're all together. <laughs> We did, we did mention a party earlier. Okay, you know what, Peter, we're gonna go ahead and get some more stuff set up for you yeah. and we would love to keep chatting with you. Okay. If you're open to talking with us tonight, can you go ahead and make that go off? Again, if you wanna talk more with us more. Okay, okay awesome. awesome, thank you. We really, really appreciate that. Yep, <laughs> a lot. You're welcome. <laughs> you're so cool, man. Yeah, he is really cool, I like Peter. Oh, yeah. thank you. <laughs> He's so nice. All right, I'm going to go ahead and shut this off, but that was a great yeah, music box that session. That was a great music box session. Yeah, it really this was. Our, Peter, <laughs> we just wanted to let you know that this is our very first time doing this. And, go ahead. and this is just so incredibly nice of you. And thank you so much. Yeah, thank <laughs> you. Um, okay, let's keep going. Let's, uh, let's do it. This just went off as we were setting up. Yep. Oh, can you, if that uh, was mm -hmm. you, could you come over here to this one and make it go off? We'll stand, we'll stand away. We'll, we'll give you we'll, your distance. We'll give you room. Yeah, if we are talking to Peter, could you come uh, touch our REM pod, please? Maybe he just likes the music box. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, yeah, to be honest, this is my jam. <laughs> three, two, one. Yeah. Temperature. I said three, two, one, and that went off. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for touching that. Appreciate it. All of our equipment right now, dude, it's is going crazy. Going. We need EVPs. Do yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's totally do it. This yep. is like. Can you keep that going off for five seconds, the music box, if you if you want to talk to us through the EVP recorder? We'll ask you. Okay, we can do that. Yeah, we can talk to you guys. Okay. For sure. Let's do it. And like what what I what I what we turned this on to tell you all is from all of the videos we have watched, countless videos we have watched on YouTube, these rarely go off, they say. It's so rare to have any equipment work. And for our red pot to be going off and the music box, yeah. We just started. We literally just started. Okay, let's do it. Let's do an EVP session. And I just heard the noise down there as that's not going off anymore. You gotta keep it rolling okay. because they're not gonna believe us that this is like five seconds yeah. later than the last one. Five clip. seconds later? This is not going mm -hmm. off and I heard... Uh, <laughs> Thanks, Peter. Wait, Thank he, you for... they walked back and that went off? Yeah, yeah. That dude, yeah, how can I'm... you explain this? Yeah, you can't. It's you unexplainable. Can't. Okay, wait. If you are here with us could you please just make these stop we're going to talk to you a different way we're going to use this little recorder here if you can make that stop for me please could you make that stop for me please thank you okay we're <laughs> okay <laughs> thank you so much i appreciate it okay so we are going to go ahead if i can figure out how to turn this on while i'm like oh Thank you for thank keeping you, that yeah, off. Thank you for keeping that off so we can ask you some questions. We're going to remain completely silent. I'm going to put this, where should I put it? Uh, maybe on the chair. Okay, yeah. We're going to come over here. We're just going to put this on the chair so that way it stays nice and quiet and you can just say your words into it. So I'm going to go ahead and, okay, so this is me recording. I am putting it on the chair now. That was the chair. Okay. All right. And, okay. Um, Thank you so much for talking to us already. Could you please tell us your name? Could you tell us maybe how old you are? Okay, thank you so much if you answered those. We're gonna listen to it back now to see if we can talk with you. Oh, thank you, <laughs> appreciate it. Thank you so much for talking to us already. Could you please tell us your name? And could you oh yeah, I heard that. Did you hear high? Really? I didn't hear high. I heard a like a, a breath. <sighs> yeah, and I thought the breath yeah. said high. 
Or was it me breathing before I was okay, saying Okay, thank you so much. The before I was saying my it next might thing. Have been? It might have been. <laughs> so now what we're going to do is we're going to take these flashlights and notice how neither one has yeah. gone off. If you're still here with us, could you make one of these devices go off, please? Could you make some music for me? Or could you make my REM pod go off by just touching it? Wait, but that's not the air, because the air would have kicked that out. That was a f something dropped. You think? The cat ball! No, 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 I don't think it was that, but some- Okay, we it's gotta- a, Yeah. We gotta calm down. Okay, I just got mad chills. That, because of that. was a huge sound. That- that's on here. Yeah, that has to be on there. That yeah, has to be on there. it has to be on here. They might be if, upstairs. Wait. If you would like us to go back in there to talk to you, could you make a sound back there? No, nothing. Nothing. So that just proves that everything that we did and got was 100% real. It's just unexplainable. Um, well, we're going to try something else if you don't mind. Mm -hmm. We're going to go ahead and set up these flashlights. You can use them to communicate with us. Do you think we should go back there or should we stay here? Let's try back there. We've been in here the whole time. Let's go sure. see Peter. Okay. That way they know <laughs> exactly what we- They might be coming back this way. Yeah. I'm gonna turn this on now. It's gonna- You can turn that off if you don't mind. Thank you. That's calibration. Mm-hmm. Calibration. If you don't want me to put the flashlight on the chair, could you make the flashlight turn on please? All you have to do is tap it. We're good. Shh, shh, shh. Peter, pity girls, if you would still be willing to talk with us, could you either come up to the music box or if you can turn one of these flashlights on for me, please? Either one. You can just go up to it and tap it or twist it on. Then we know you would like to talk with us a little bit. Nothing. Nothing. How do you Absolutely explain nothing. that? Absolutely nothing. And then we heard that noise upstairs. They might have walked upstairs. I mean, we did say we were having a party with Major William Horn. Maybe mm -hmm. they went upstairs True. for a party. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. And you know what? Not even the REM pod. Yeah, not even the REM pod. They want, to, want us to go upstairs, I think. Do you want to go upstairs? I think they want us to go upstairs. I think they want us to go upstairs because when the noises stopped, we started hearing stuff upstairs. Mm -hmm. let's, yep. let's go upstairs. Let's wrap it yeah. up. Well, let's, yeah, we might as well go upstairs if that's where they, they well, want us to go. Mm -hmm. So, you know what I honestly feel? Well, I feel like they went outside. And outside. I don't know if I should start listening to that intuition, but I feel like, think about it, if I was a little girl, everybody left the grounds, I would want to go play outside. Yeah. And she said that she's heard voices outside. She's seen full apparitions outside. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. Why not? You want to go outside? After, After we do Major the... William Hart. Okay. Yeah. I just want to be really quiet. Major William Hart. Again, thank you so much for your service. Um, make it. Could you make a noise for me, please, if you don't want me to sit in the chair? Okay, I think, think he's we're okay. Good. I think yeah, we're good. I think that's his chair, so we'll just skip, we'll yep. leave that for him. Yep. Okay. Calibration. Wait, it's like broken. Really? No. Here we go. Let's try it again. We did it. We didn't roughhouse it. Mm -mm. Um, that's weird because you've used this multiple times at your place. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, you, Shannon. Did you hear that? Was it like a knock? Yeah, upstairs. Yeah. Again, something. Is, <laughs> I, I honestly sure? did hear it, and to be honest, we've been. That was a freaking voice. Did you hear that? No, I heard another voice. No, I heard a voice coming from that room. A man's voice. We invite you to come in yep. here and chat with us. And I just got the chills when I, I... I'm still getting the chills. Really? Was this why it wasn't going off anymore? I don't know. 
<laughs> but like this shouldn't have broke. Okay, I'm just gonna put it right here and just see it. I think I'm just gonna gather everything up and go outside because I just have this feeling that that's where the energy is. Like you had just said off camera, it j it feels like an empty energy in here now. Mm -hmm. I felt an energy, but now it's like gone. Mm -hmm. Like there's nothing. Yeah, I don't hear anything anymore. No, I don't either. I think that we should take it out. I, I think we should go in the courtyard. Yeah. Let's see if they're out playing. Yeah. I, feel, I literally feel like this is my house right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Which it's not, yeah. sorry. But, <laughs> I know, yeah. But. No, it's, yeah, I totally 100% agree with that. May have just seen a full on orb. And I felt something. Did you go to my shoulder? Yes. Because I felt. A hundred. Hold this, hold this. I have hold this. this. Stop, hold this, dude, please. Dude, my children I'm, right now. Dude, same. Please hold this because I just felt down my back like that. I, I swear. Oh my gosh. No, that's creepy. I you saw, saw that with my own eyes. And guys, as soon as we were packing up, this started going off. Look. They're not going to believe us. Do you us. see this? Do you see this? Yeah, I have. I still They're have the chills. They're not going to believe us. No. I still have the chills. Look at just. Put it, okay, wait, 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 it. let's not freak out. If something's here, maybe it wants to talk with us. And then that REM pod, oh my gosh, how is that explained? Wait, look, 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 there it goes. Okay, we're sorry. Thank you so much for wanting to chat with us. And now all of a sudden it feels different again. Yeah, it feels so different. Yeah. Okay, thank you like, again why? so much. Here Shannon. you go, here. Shannon, you're, you're <laughs> telling me that you saw an I orb saw it go fly to curtain, my shoulder? Fly towards you and then you immediately said, don't because I just felt something and I was like, I just saw something. And then I. But I don't know if I like the orb stuff. Wait, this is getting really dim. Yeah, and we didn't touch that. What's the battery? What's the battery? I don't know. 73. Okay, that's normal. Okay, okay. That's normal. Cool. Okay. Okay, well, but um, wait, now I feel fine again. Mm -hmm. Like the chills are gone. Yeah, but uh, okay, let's, let's go outside. Okay, I need to take a breath because what happened inside the house really threw me off. Like, seriously. Go. Here we go into Travis, the lighthouse. Travis, Travis, into the lighthouse. Yes. Alright, we're coming into the lighthouse. They're, they feel more welcome. Yeah, I, I feel happy. Yeah. Energy. I mean, I don't feel... I'm gonna come up here. Okay, okay, no. That's on camera. That's on camera. That's on camera. I heard that from back here. Stop, stop, stop. What was it? It kind of heard it, but I don't know what it was. It sounded like somebody walking down steps, like three steps. Creak, creak, creak. I heard That's what it I sounded heard... like. There's so many spiders in here right now, I kind of want to go. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> okay. It... Okay, that's a cricket. Okay, it happened. might be a bird too. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> go by myself again. <laughs> Sorry, we thought we heard you. It might have been a bird, but this is our first time. Please understand we were a little terrified. <laughs> All right, I'm going to look up this stairwell in five seconds and peek your head over for me, okay? All right. You want to make baby? You know what I think we should do? Yes. First off, look at that monster. It looks like a black widow. It does look like a black widow. Yeah, I think it is. Okay, let's stay distant from that thing. <laughs> oh no. I, I still have to uh, okay. look up. All right, I'm gonna do a three second count. Please peek your head over whenever you're ready. I wanna see you. I'm a nice person, so. We're gonna find you, hide and seek, ready? Give us a hint, give us a hint. Three, two, one. Thank you for that hint. Did you hear that? Was it shuffling? Yeah. You heard it? Yeah. No, I heard shuffling and then I heard a... I heard a... Yeah, and then I heard like a... Like a... <laughs> I, I, it's not gonna make the sound. I can't make the sound. Okay. Let's do our five minutes in silence challenge. Five okay. minutes, 
sit on this bench in complete silence and see what we hear. Okay, sounds good. Alright, let's do it. Let's I'll set the timer. And I, you know what I'm gonna do to make this even more scary? Are you gonna point it at the... No, I'm gonna turn this on candle mode. This no, light bar. No, 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 no. No, let's do it. <laughs> All right. My shirt is being pulled. Thank you. Can you pull it out a little farther? Okay. Thank you. I'm gonna stop now. Please, go play. Okay, Shanna, look at this footage. Like I'm sweaty too, you reviewing. see me? Yeah, I'm like sweating and I just really need some air right now because I feel like thank you so much for everything you are giving to us tonight. And you know what's so crazy? This was off camera. We're sitting here reviewing the footage of his shirt getting tugged because we can't explain it. And we heard two loud thuds up there. And there, we pulled in and we said specifically, I just feel like tonight's going to be a great night. And they are being so nice. I appreciate you so much. And awesome. I just, I, but to be honest, I need, I need a breather. I need I, a breather I too. need, it's so hot and I just, I need right. to like. We'll go out for a second. Yeah, we, we'll be back. We'll I be back. I appreciate you, but I just, I need a second. <laughs> I hope you can understand. I got touched, pulled, insane amount of activity has been happening with me. We uh, heard that you like to play there, so. We are going to go over there, and if you would like to come play, we're gonna go set up some equipment, and maybe we can play by the oak tree. Okay, let's do it. Cool. I'm walking in the front. What? I could have sworn I heard two footsteps over here while you were setting stuff down, but I don't know. I could be totally wrong. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. We, yeah. we had to come out here for a breather. It's just, it's so hot. And like, honestly, we're getting responses, which is so incredibly nice of them. It's just a lot for us to take in for our first time. I, um, I will say, if you want to hold. Yeah. I will say that before this, like, we're not even done yet, but I was a 6.5 on the scale of belief. But like, there's some things that are unexplainable. Like the I, music box. The music box talking with Peter and he was so nice to talk with he us. He was. He, he like was full on like answering our questions and stuff. At We literally, brand new paranormal investigators sat down our very first piece of equipment and he was stop. so nice. It didn't yeah, stop going It didn't off. stop. And then it just stopped which means he just walked away. Maybe he got bored with us and then we make our way over to the lighthouse. Look at, the, like you guys can see how dark this is right now. Like it's just pitch black over there like look at that <laughs> so, i think the little girls have like something like they like me oh they might because, yeah because and we've been so incredibly friendly to all of them i know this yeah me off. yeah let's let's get out let's, oh let's get the yeah let's start walking a little bit and regroup guys it has only been no did you just whistle no i didn't i thought you did stop no that came from inside the building Inside the building. Is that window open right there? Uh, I don't know. <sighs> um. I heard a whistle. I, I, I did, and then whistled. I got the chills. I thought you whistled. No, I didn't whistle at all. Um, okay, anyway. <laughs> these are nice spirits, and honestly, they Very are nice. giving us such a great night. You know, we told them. I think it's on camera, even. We told them, you know, this is our first time. We really would love to chat with you. It's been an hour. We still have... Wait, no. It's 9.40. We got here at 8. So we've got another, like hour and 20 minutes or so what yep. do you think we should do and i'm so on edge right now and like i said this is our first time we're trying i promise but just i mean we got to get used to this and i think the more we do it the more we will get used to it and um yeah and it's also so freaking hot out <laughs> yeah 
I, I felt something when I was getting like touched in there. Honestly, I felt that it was an aggressive spirit. When I got Where? touched on the shoulder in there, really? I didn't feel like it was something good. If somebody's inside the lighthouse right now, do you want to run in front of that doorway over there? We'll see your shadow. We'd love to see you. You guys have been very nice. And three, two, one. How do you feel? <laughs> We're sweating, man. We are, it's hot out here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> um, how do you feel about going in there for five minutes by yourself? With the camera and the light, it's fine. You don't have to, if you want to climb a little, you can. I'll set my timer for five minutes and when it's done, I will come get you. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do it. Okay. Five um, minutes, that's it. Okay. And I know we said we were going to do alone challenges tonight, but we've had so much happen. Can this be I, my I, part I will of be the completely, challenge? Yeah, I, I will be completely honest with you. I don't know that I'm brave enough just yet because of everything that's happened tonight. If it wasn't so active. I'm not brave enough. What are you doing to me? What are you doing to me? I'm not brave have enough. Have fun. Oh, no, minutes. no. You better stay right outside these doors on that bench over there. Bruh, it's a little scary around right there. Okay, what you're going to go all the way in? No. No, you I'm, can go in. No, I'm going to stay like right here. This is really, really dark. Yeah. However, I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to put it on red, too. Okay. Go ahead. All right. What was that? You heard a whistle? Yes! Again? I heard that, too. What is up with the whistling? Okay, thank it, you for whistling. They're, they're whistling me in. Okay. There you go. Five minutes. All right, here we go. All right, guys, I'm coming in uh, for five minutes. I'm going to be in here for five minutes, please. Uh, give me a sign that you're in here. Uh, you know, any sign, just... Okay, that's a bird, I believe. All right, I'm going to sit down on this bench down here and make a noise. Bang on one of these poles. Um, please. Uh, like I said, you're not allowed to leave with me. However, uh, you can definitely, like, make yourself known. I've never done something like this before. <laughs> like, I've done alone things and I've been very scared, but this is next level, guys. Hold on, let me, no way. Oh gosh, that scared me. Don't do that again, light. If anything's in here, can you please uh, bang on a pole? Prefer Sorry, if you want to make a noise for me up there, please bang on, a, on the railing. Um, I want to know that you're here. All right, I'm going to do something brave. I'm going to give you one more um, opportunity to make yourself known, please. Uh, we appreciate your uh, hospitality, honestly. Thank you so much. That's a bird if you guys hear anything, okay? My heart, guys. Okay, no. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. No. That's insanely scary. I can't. I can't. Because I just got, like, my pants just got pulled hard. Like, hard. Huh? Did you get that on camera? It, it was recording me. Like, on the ground recording me. No, I just sat on the bench. I told them that I'm going to give you one last opportunity to make a noise or make I yourself just known. Like you. They saw a little girl across the room from them, kind of looking like the grudge, so in the white dress, oh. long hair just soaking wet, just staring at her from across the room. What? It's... Wow. That's 
and so we we've had a lot planned for tonight but we're just getting like scared like everything is responding to us like and we've been so polite and we think maybe that's why like we're it, so it definitely extra nice. i would say it definitely helps because we do get some people here like uh when we tell them the story about Peter mm -hmm. uh, re having like interaction with with guests, if they sit in one of his chairs, mm -hmm. if they sit in his chairs, they think, oh, the tour guide said that he interacts mm -hmm. with us if we have a seat in his chairs. So I'm just going to sit down in those chairs and say every bad thing that I can think of. Yeah. So I, I think that might be the reason why. Plus, mm -hmm. you also a smaller group than we normally have mm -hmm. so like <laughs> we're crazy why did we come with two people are we nuts <laughs> so like even with like private investigations sometimes like the groups are like five six people so it's not like a large group but right. it's still More fairly large <laughs> so y'all are i would say definitely one of the smallest groups that we've had so it, i would say the fact that you're polite the fact that you're yeah. such a small group definitely helps with that vibe i i should show you guys the conversation we had with Peter because he was answering everything and he was so friendly and I was like why I'm like we but we approached him nice so he was nice and he talked with us and it was full-on conversation just back and forth with the paranormal music box stepping in front stepping away stepping in front stepping full-on conversation the nicest guy he, he really is yeah I mean, you would kind of have to be if you get the <laughs> if you get the honor of being our longest serving lighthouse keeper. Right. Yeah. No, I mm -hmm. thought he was really nice. So we're glad that we caught that. And I mean, it was two seconds into our investigation, we put the music box down, and he's he ready to talk. Oh yeah. Yeah. It was crazy. I, the, we still have like an hour, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm killing time. I'm chatting yeah, with you because you know I'm a little I'm a little clock. scared. I'm not gonna lie. But I, that's where I'm like, this is our very first paranormal investigation. And we're just having such an incredible night that it's almost like I need just a breather, you know? No problem. Yeah, I like, get that. Like, I am like, stuff, stuff is responding to us. It's being nice. But, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm game to keep going if you are. Yep, I am. We, You know, we have a shoe and we have a doll in the house, so we got to go back in there and get that. And <laughs> a cat ball. Yeah. yeah, thanks. But I think, should we go in there? Do we think that's where the... I want to do the Estes method. Maybe last. Oh, gosh. Um... So while you were in there, I was talking with him. He said one night he was upstairs at the top. Of that flag is driving me nuts. <laughs> he was upstairs at the top of the um, lighthouse, and he saw like a white dress go down the stairs. Really? Yeah. I'm not going in there. <laughs> but I'm honestly like freaked out. Keep this on just in case. Like, look at that. Okay, house. but can I point out how cool the lighthouse looks though with the lights on? Yeah, it looks great. What the f? What? What the f? What? No. What? No. What? Two footprints going right behind me, I swear. Well, maybe you didn't hear that? To, no, maybe they're coming to talk. It's okay. Oh my gosh. It's no, okay. I they're can't believe to... you didn't hear that. No. I can't believe you did not. Was that me? That. No, it wasn't you. Did you do that? No, I don't. Well, maybe I did backwards. I don't know. No, because it sounded like... Okay, but it's okay. We want them to talk with us. Okay, so. okay. Okay, so this is the Estes method. This is a spirit box. And we're basically just putting the headphones on him. And he's going to say what words or full sentences come through. Uh, we're going to just try to have a conversation with either the pity girls, with um, Peter, with... I know that flag keeps messing with me with Major, um, any other spirits that w are here and would like to talk with us, uh, we welcome you to come chat with us. Okay, can you hear me? House. House. Are we at the Keeper's house right now? I would like to say my name is Shannon. This is my brother, Travis. We appreciate you all Kids. so much. <laughs> yep. Uh, we appreciate you so much talking with us tonight. If that is you setting off Joseph? the Joseph? Joseph? Are we talking to a man named Joseph? If so, can you say yes? Maria! If you are still here, can you say your name again? I'm sorry that we... Bible. Bible? Thoughts. Thoughts? Are you... Are you thinking about something right now? If that's you touching the REM pod, could you let me know? 
Were you keeping a watch on this lighthouse? I'm looking down, guys, because I am so terrified of looking up into that lighthouse right now. Okay. Uh, wait, what, what did, did you just... eat? <laughs> Macaroni and cheese, if I'm being honest. Okay, I'm gonna start asking you questions. Uh, can you give us a name? Who's here with us right now, please? Rempod. Is this Shannon? No. Really? Are you serious? Yeah, I think. I could have sworn I heard my name. This is, I don't. Okay, I'm. Okay, we got this, we got this. Who's here with us right now? Sorry guys, there's a train in the back. We can't figure out who's here. Can you please give us some, some words through this, uh, through this antenna? All you have to do is, uh, well, it might be hard, but go through the radio stations, pick a word that you want to use, and have Shannon speak it into Shannon's ears. What's up? What's up? How you doing? How you doing? The noises are going crazy. Uh, my name's Travis. I don't know if you met me. I think you have, because we've Hi. Been... Hey, what's up? We've been around Mary. This... Hey, Mary. Mary, what's up? Um, uh, how you doing? I appreciate that. Aw. You appreciate me asking how you doing? Of course. Always. It's, it's always nice to introduce yourself and ask how you're doing, you know? <laughs> Emma? But, uh, Emma's here too? Right? Yeah, right to the right of us. Are you sitting right by Shannon? It died. Sorry, we're gonna continue. My light bar died, but that light is going still. So we're gonna continue. All right, I see We're some. playing. We're playing, aw, that's cute. Uh, thank you for playing with us. <laughs> hey, hello, uh, hello, hello. You're so cute. That was two hellos. Were, um, are you both here? I appreciate you all for being here with us tonight. Right here. Right here. Right here. Okay. So here with us tonight. Right here. I, you guys are around us. Yeah. Hi. Hey. Do you like me? Am I being nice to you? This is making a hundred percent sense. What? Put a dollar. Put a dollar. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't. I don't think I have a dollar bill with me. But do you want me to go get one? Hello. Hello. Were you down in the basement with us tonight? Pod. Something whispered, but I don't know what it said. Okay. Did everything, any of that make and sense? Everything made sense. No, because I feel like I was saying no. the most random no, stuff. No, but everything made sense. I, was like, I felt like I was saying the most because, random no, stuff. I, I, said I something literally like, felt like I was saying the most random stuff, but I was just saying what I was hearing. Is that, has that been going on? Yeah, it's going on. Okay. Our dolls are here. Our shoe place is good. We brought our lovely guides with us. Yes. <laughs> we have Ozzy and Sammy. Hi. Hello. Uh, Hello. We're getting a little scared. We're not going to lie. So we were like, do you guys want to come investigate with us, please? <laughs> thank you. <laughs> yes, <laughs> thank you. Because <laughs> uh, we have a small group. Should we put this in the same spot? Yeah, right, we should. Right over here? We should. It was going off right here. It was, yeah. Okay. REM pods back in the same place. It was going off earlier, so... This is when we got the most activity, so should we just basically recreate what we did sure. in the beginning? But this still, I don't know if this is working anymore. Yes, I don't know why that just stopped working. It, it did, it's like they broke it. Okay, they probably see. did, they're a little mischievous. Are they? they? Yeah, because it was working great, and then when I went to set it up in, where were we, the lighthouse, maybe? No, upstairs. We were upstairs, Upstairs, yeah. um, it just wasn't working anymore. It was weird, so let's see if it's working now. It, it feels broken, like it's not catching anything, like it's loose. Like I can just spin it. Oh. It for sure feels broken, but we can leave it there because it will still yep. make a light. So let's see if maybe they're playing hide and seek with us. No. I don't know that they followed us back here. From the lighthouse. I don't feel anything right now. I don't either. I feel like they're playing in the lighthouse. Yeah. But we're too scared to go back there. So, <laughs> so we're just gonna... 
Grandpa. Grandpa. Temperature change. Peter, if you're here, do you want to talk with us using the music box again? We said we'd be back down. Hopefully we gave you some space earlier. We'd be willing to talk again if you would like to come up to the music box. Can you turn that off for me, please? In three, two, one. <laughs> no. Thank you. I, I appreciate that. <laughs> they like you. you wanna, what? You wanna maybe hold the camera? Yeah, why don't you, do you want to, um... Go kneel in between the chairs and ask them to sit around me? Yeah. Yeah, let's why do it. I'm gonna move it back. If you are happy... Cold. Cold. Really? My hand is ice. If you are happy oh that Travis is coming to sit with you, can you make the REM pod go off again? I'm gonna kneel right here. It's kind of... Ow. Don't be shy. Ow. It's okay. Ow. He's just coming over to say hi. <laughs> There's a flashlight if you want to set it up. Estes, you want to see if the girls want to talk to you? You want me to do the Estes? Yeah, let's try it. Are we talking to some of the pity girls right now? Could you say yes for me, please? Standing up. Are you standing up near the table? Is that where you are? I heard a scream. Really? <laughs> He can't hear me saying really. <laughs> Can you give us your name, please? Shannon. They keep saying my name tonight. But you guys like Travis. <laughs> Could you say Travis for me? Could you say the name Travis? It's possible. <laughs> it's possible? Okay. How about you tell me your name? Could you tell me your name for me, please? Hi. Hi. Version. Okay. <laughs> Girls, do you like our versions of the stories that we tell? Is that why you're saying versions? Mm. Do you like when we're here talking with you? I think. <laughs> You think? Shannon? Why? That's the third time, but that kind of verifies Do you that see I'm... me? N oh no. Oh my gosh. I don't see you. I'm cold. I'm so cold right now. Are you by Travis? Do you like Travis? Pardon. Pardon? Did you uh, do something? <laughs> Pardon something they would have said more back then than like excuse come. me. Or, where would you like us to come? Sit. Okay. Oh, oh my god. Are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. But when I went to sit, something pulled my hand down. I'm it's still tingling. My hand is still tingling. Come sit. Like on the stairs maybe or over here? Did they grab you to come over here? I'm freezing. Uh, no, she was on her knees and then they pulled her as she was going to sit down. As I was going to down. sit down, it felt like a full on, I, like grabbed me and pulled me, like pulled my arm down. Okay, go back under. I want to ask okay. them if they did that. Okay. Yes, I am sitting now. I've never felt something like that before in my life. Okay, put it back on. I'm, I'm fine. Was like, that was really legit words. I heard Shannon twice. Really? Yeah. <laughs> that Flashlight! Was... Flashlight just turned on. It's off now, but it turned on wait, for a wait. second. Wait, wait. They want to talk. Let's go. Okay, let me, let me okay, go okay. All right. I'm freezing. Okay, thank you for letting us know you're still here and you want to talk. I'm sorry that we... They probably want me to sit back down. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Sit! Sit! I heard okay, thank you. I am sitting back oh down. Oh my gosh, I'm literally like it's freezing. Because they want you at their height level. They do. Like, I yeah. totally understand all that. Us, yeah. If we think about it, all of us are at their height level right now. Yeah, we are. Like, okay. We're here. Okay, I'm gonna go under. Okay, yeah, go for it. If one of you pulled my arm, can you just say yes? Or can you let me know? I am. I am? Are you still sitting next to me? It's okay if you are, I just want to know. The whole entire back room There's is fuzzy on the camera. There's? I don't want to say what I think I just heard. Okay, then don't please. <laughs> are you sitting camera. there with us? 
Yeah, I'm holding a camera. Is that okay? Can you say yes if that is okay? I know you like to mess with it. Record. <laughs> I am recording you. Scary. Uh, I'm sorry if we're acting a little scared. <laughs> action. 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 Lights, camera, action. Okay, we've got it recording. What would you like to do now? If you would like to talk with us using the flashlight, could you turn it back on for me, please? I can't see if it's, it's on. It's on. Is it on? Okay, if you would like to talk to us. Um, so cold. Can you turn the flashlight off? Off. Oh, it just turned off. Really? I can't see a thing, so you're gonna have to let me know. Color okay. Commentary. That actually does help me. <laughs> Thank you for letting me see you. If you would like to talk with us using this little um, device here, Trav, do you want to demonstrate how it works since they like you? Yep, so you just got to go close to it and it goes off. Yeah, excellent. If you want to talk with us, you can continue by using that device here. I'm going to lay this down. Device here. Okay. Like, really oh, flashlight, that. flashlight. Oh, oh. Turned off on. <laughs> I see you're playing with it. Thank you. Could you do that again for us? You can go play with it, it's okay. Huh. Thank you. <laughs> you know what's crazy? I just panned a look down here uh -huh. and that turned on like. Wait, let's go. What was that? I heard that too. Yeah, maybe a slow creak. Okay, if you want to turn that off. <laughs> yeah, either one. <laughs> uh, you can turn it off and we'll ask you some questions. Thank you. I'm just debating, should we, do you want us to move this Minnie Mouse over to the tea set so she can have a tea party with you? Yeah, that's a good <gasps> idea. Do you want to turn on one of the flashlight if you do? No? Oh, maybe that's the answer. Okay. Do you like that we put our little doll here with you? Her name is Minnie. If you like that mini there with you, could you turn the flashlight off? Do you like having a tea party with her? Yeah. <laughs> that one. <laughs> That's what. <Yeah. laughs> yep, we're still here talking to you. Are you... I wonder if every time that goes off, they're reaching for their teacup. Maybe. Yeah. Are you playing tea party? Can you turn the flashlight on if you want to play a different game? <laughs> Do you girls want to play hide and seek? Can you turn the light on again if you want to play hide and oh. seek? They want to play hide and seek. Play with the okay. meter? They like this game, right? See, okay. I think that's what they want to do. Okay, let's play hide and seek. Eight, nine, nine ten. ten. Okay, we're going to come over find you. Are you girls over here? No, you're going to make me come all the way back here to make sure? <laughs> Of course they are. Oh yeah, they're like, yeah. No, not over here. Oh. Are you just oh. hi standing in the oh. middle of the room? It's <laughs> not really hiding. Or am I just getting closer? <gasps> are you oh. standing behind Ozzy? Are you hiding behind <gasps> Ozzy? Oh, that's Yes, you're hiding behind Ozzy. <laughs> they're ducking behind uh, you. I saw it on red, wasn't it on red? All right, did we find you? Or did you hide again? Let's go see. Are you in creepy oh. corner? Okay. We probably should have asked how many of the girls were here before. So oh, we I can... know, so we know how many <laughs> to find. <laughs> Not in creepy corner. You guys are good at hiding. Yeah, and notice the flashlight has not gone off. Or the red light. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's see if maybe they're under the stairs. Hey, Peter. <laughs> oh. oh, are you ready here? Did we find you? This is where I tell people you like to hide sometimes. I'm sorry I give away your secrets. 
Maybe that's why they don't come out when it's you down here. <laughs> no, they, they, oh, it's because I'm not giving the tour ah. and they're not able to interrupt me and make fun of me as I give the tour. Uh, oh, <laughs> flashlight went on and off. They're confirming, mm -hmm. I think, what you said. You guys, you girls like to mock me, right? You like to... <laughs> <laughs> Do you like to play with Sammy? That's bright, too. That is really bright. They're That's like, awesome. yeah, They're... Sammy is our... What if we brought the... Ooh, I just got... I, oh, I cold. Did. I you just did got too? chills, too. I just got very, very cold and full-on chills. Yeah. Like, it's all, like, yeah. right here. Mm -hmm. Okay, did we find all of you? If we found all of you here with us, could you turn the flashlight on for us? If we found all of you? Did we find you? Do we still have to find one more? Yeah. Were they cheating and hide and seek and moving around? I know, <laughs> I, I feel like... <laughs> if we have to find one more, can you turn the flashlight back on for us? Okay, we have one more to go. Okay, maybe Peter. Uh, yeah. Did you maybe go into a different room? Yeah. When you said Peter, it went off. I really? Think that they, maybe yeah. he's, is he playing? Oh. oh. That'd be fun. Oh, I was like, oh, yeah. Here, I'll turn it off for now. Are you in here? No. Please tell me you didn't go into the cisterns. If you no. did go in there, we won't be able to get you out. <laughs> <laughs> Is Peter hiding you in here? <laughs> Peter likes us too, so I feel like they teamed up against us. Yeah. I feel like they teamed up against us. Mm -hmm, definitely. <laughs> Are you standing in the corner over here? <laughs> the corner that I can't get to. <laughs> no? I'm hiding behind the British flag? Are you over here? You are very good at hiding. Are you over here behind the cannon girls? <laughs> are Could you, you give us a sign of where you might be? Could you make a noise for us? Can we get a hint? I wonder if they're underneath the muskets. Laying down oh, underneath there. We must get down there and check. Put it in. Really, girls, you like this one? <laughs> this is the one you like. <laughs> Are you oh, yeah. Oh, there we are. Right. We, we found, found you. you. That's a great hiding spot. That is a really good Oh, that's on spot. red. Yeah. Wow. Okay, we found all of you now. Should we go back to our tea, our tea party? I think that was just a. Should we go back to our tea party? Let's go back. Yep, let's do See it. What's if you all are here sitting at the table, can you touch that again for us? Can you touch the light over there? What's crazy is that has not gone off this entire time. I know, it hasn't. I'm gonna go ahead and hit record. I'll say a question, wait okay. seven seconds, then we'll go around, that works, okay. If we are talking and playing with the pity girls, could you say your name, please? How many individuals are with us right now? I'm curious if you girls like messing with me because I remind you of an older sister. Is that true? Have you girls enjoyed playing with the guests this evening? If we are talking and playing with the pity girls, could you say your name, please? How many individuals are with us right now? Nine? Did you hear nine? I, I heard th something. I heard something. Should we play it back? I heard nine. Of course they answer to you. How many individuals are with us right now? Nine of us. Did, you did it say nine or did it say one? I thought it, I thought I heard nine. I heard, you heard, I heard nine too? I heard nine. I heard nine curious of us. If you girls like messing with me because I remind you of an older sister. Is that true? I think that's all of us. Mm -hmm. Have you girls enjoyed playing with the guests this evening? I 
love that they only, they only answer, answer to you. me. But also, that voice was not a female voice. That was not. It, it might have been Peter, maybe? It might have been Peter saying, hey, there's nine. We could definitely probably come back one day. <laughs> and... Uh, See if I hear Shannon again. <laughs> but it's weird because they want to talk to you, but so they keep saying me. want to know something that's interesting. Okay. We used to have an employee named Shannon as well. So it's really? a name that they're oh, familiar with. So maybe they're like, oh, we know this name. We'll say Shannon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Yeah, because yeah. that is weird that they keep saying my name. Yeah. Okay. If we are talking to the pity girls, could you tell me your age, please? How old are you? Do you like specifically talking to me, Travis? Does Travis remind you of your brother that you haven't seen in a long time? Does he remind you of Edward? Well, Mary, since you were the oldest out of the girls, do you like Travis? Mm -hmm. I heard a hi. We are talking to the really? pity yeah. girls. Could you tell me your age, please? How old are you? Oh, that was me. Eleven? I heard were ten. Were they? How old were they? Was so one 15, one 13, <laughs> and then between 10 and 11 was the third little girl. That's crazy. We're going to have to enhance this. Does Travis remind you of your brother? <laughs> that you haven't seen in a long time? Does he remind you of no. Edward? That sounded well, like a yes. Mary, since you were the oldest out of the girls, do you like Travis? <laughs> no, that was me oh, going alone. <laughs> but I, I heard something in between you asking it and me okay. going, I, we're going to have to enhance I, it and I don't, see what we... I kind of heard a shut up. So like, shut here, up. No, I don't think I heard that. I don't know. If you want us to come back sometime to play, do you want to turn that flashlight off? Good night, Major. Good night, Major. The St. Francis Inn, also known as one of the most haunted inns in St. Augustine. Like, how does this happen? Us no. We have a story to solve tonight, and we're gonna see if we can. And with this, something's grabbing my arm, Shannon. We're going to contact you using this voice recorder. You could see the right arm trying to it's touch trying it. It's trying to touch it. Right it. arm. Oh, it did it! 